Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap ape. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering Heroverse, which I believe is going to be super hyped um, because it's going to be on two very hyped launchpad platforms, which is GameFi and RedKite. And obviously these two gaming platforms or launchpads have been uh, really top tier lately. I mean, if you have a look at the past performance of GameFi uh, projects, you can see that the past few have done incredibly well uh cabby arena uh the 25x all-time high and currently it's at 15x so what's really pro is that these don't just really die off i mean they still hold the roi which some of the projects on other platforms don't i mean it could be a really high all-time high and then done uh also death road uh 30x and then 15x currently and then a game fire. Um, this I actually made this infographic yesterday, but uh, updated now. Uh, all time high was actually around 70x. Current is about 55 or 60x, I believe, which is incredible. And their next sale, obviously, is going to be Heroverse, which you can see on their hub. You can see uh, it's going to have the private sale, community sale, and. Uh, Here's all the information and where you can take part. As you can see, the private sale is going to be in 19 hours. Uh, the price is going to be 0.012 BUSD per token. And then this is the other pool, the community sale, where it's a little bit more expensive and uh, also less tokens. So the private sale is where the majority of the action will be. And then the IGO here, also uh, 1.5 cents. Uh, 6 million tokens so that's actually uh, a bit more than the private sale so there is quite a lot of opportunity to get in it's about 155,000 total raise on GameFi and then on RedKite you can see uh, 115,000 in their public and then in their private 50,000 and that whitelist is ending in two days so if you want to take part make sure to obviously take part I think it's definitely going to be worthwhile to take uh, part in this obviously RedKite ideas have been doing insanely well as well as game five just like um i just showed you here the past performances i mean not to speculate obviously but uh if you had to picture the next one here i think it'll be in line with cabi arena and death Ra uh, road uh, because obviously game five is the actual launch pad where people hold tokens to take part in the project so that's why it's done more than others but yeah i really think uh heroverse will do really well if we have a look at their telegram fifty thousand people 6700 online which is really pro numbers let's have a look at their website see what they're all about now obviously it's play to earn a gaming project uh, that's where all the hype is these days in terms of the game introduction it's going to be a match three puzzle and rpg strategy nft game you can actually have a look at their trailer here which looks quite decent uh, you can see it's uh, the graphics are quite good the Gameplay seems also quite good. So it's uh, the fact that it's got a trailer of the gameplay has already puts it ahead of quite a lot of the other projects. Here's some more pictures of the in-game uh, well, gameplay. Value proposition, obviously play to earn. And it says, unlike the majority of NFT games that only focus on earning, they want to focus on gamers experience. And uh, that's going to be on and off the games to create a play and earn balance. Then Crypto Hero, you can boost your hero strength uh, by crypto price movement and game economy. So they're going to have two types of tokens, a pre-minted one and an unlimited one. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to work. I presume this is going to be the token that they're talking about. HEI is a pre-minted token, which is a governance token, which you can use uh, that token to buy heroes and gacha. Then HRE is unlimited token, which is an in-game currency that you can earn while playing and spend it on most of the game's features. And then you can generate the new heroes in two ways, limited hero box and summoning. So the limited hero box will be sold at the beginning and summoning is generating a new hero by sacrificing the tokens and four hero shards. So it's quite interesting mechanics there. In terms of the earning mechanism, there's going to be trading where you can sell heroes on the marketplace. You can rent them out as well. Gacha is the lucky spin function where you can uh, be profitable if you're lucky enough to open valuable rare heroes. And then rewards. So that's five quests, PvP, uh, clan events, and so on. 
then obviously they're gonna have a marketplace like i said where they're gonna you can buy sell rent exchange and auction characters then let's have a look at the tokenomics always important the valuation is 15 million but uh, in the total raises it's only 1.7 million total raise from all sales seed 450k private 1 mil and public 225,000 initial initial market cap 398,000 which is really tiny in terms of the vesting seed only gets five percent on tge then three month cliff and then linear over 12 months which is really a huge lock same with private sale only 10 percent tge and then the same lockup public 40 percent on tge and then linear vesting over the next 12 months and keep in mind public is 1.5 cents and private is 1.2 so i really think public's got a really good deal there then obviously all the standard things for marketing foundation ecosystem and team here is their team vietnamese team a lot of these gaming projects are vietnamese projects they have all the expertise in the gaming uh hype sector at the moment i must say and yeah overall i have to give hero verse a backup pro i would give it a trust pro but uh, if you are in seed or private the lockup is quite big even though i do expect this to do really well but that's why i guess a backup pro obviously one of the best ratings so if you enjoyed this video, as usual, leave a comment. Always appreciate that. Leave a like as well. Always helps out the channel. And uh, join my Telegram. Always discussing all the latest projects there. And uh, obviously join the Heroverse channels if you're interested in taking part in their sale. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.